Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2034 of our trek. Establishing good habits is imperative for living a godly life, and one habit that I practice nearly every day of the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read a chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit in your life can do the same for you. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day, and there is no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge, so we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Today I'll read Proverbs chapter 25. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 25 More Proverbs of Solomon These are more Proverbs of Solomon collected by the advisors of King Hezekiah of Judah. It is God's privilege to conceal things, and the king's privilege to discover them. No one can comprehend the height of heaven, the depth of the earth, or all that goes on in the king's mind. Remove impurities from silver, and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's court, and his reign will be made secure by justice. Don't demand an audience with the king or push for a place among the great. It is better to wait for an invitation to the head table than to be sent away in public disgrace. Just because you've seen something, don't be in a hurry to go to court, for what will you do in the end if your neighbor deals you a shameful defeat? When arguing with your neighbor, don't betray another person's secret. Others may accuse you of gossip, and you will never regain your good reputation. Timely advice is lovely, like golden apples in a silver basket. To the one who listens, valid criticism is like a gold earring or other gold jewelry. Trustworthy messengers refresh like snow in summer. They revive the spirit of their employer. A person who promises a gift but does not give it is like clouds and winds that bring no rain. Patience can persuade a prince and soft speech can break bones. Do you like honey? Don't eat too much? or it will make you sick. Don't visit your neighbor too often, or you will wear out your welcome. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an axe, wounding them with a sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing on a broken tooth or walking on a lame foot. Singing songs to a person with a heavy heart is like taking someone's coat in cold weather or pouring vinegar in a wound. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. As surely as the north wind brings rain, so a gossiping tongue causes anger. It is better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Good news from far away is like cold water to the thirsty. If the godly give in to the wicked, it is like polluting a fountain or muddying a spring. It is not good to eat too much honey, and it is not good to seek honor for yourself. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Today as you ponder Proverbs chapter 25, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.